everyone, and welcome to the GSN Podcast. My name is Big Boss, and I'm joined with my friends as always. Factor. That blue goat. Boomy. And today's <laughs> a special day because we have Senor Boomy with us. Yes. How are you, sir? Oh, I feel so loved. The, yeah. only, the only man crazier than me that we know. Really? I, I, don't, think, I don't think you're crazy, Blue. I think you're just disturbed. <laughs> That's the word you go for? That's better. Oh, my goodness gracious. So, how's everybody been? It's been a while since uh, we did our last episode. Hmm? Yeah, it was, Good. It's been a week. We have um, one of our normal guys is not doing so well. He's in. He was in the hospital, so. Yeah. Uh, Dark Star Mark just got home today, so yeah, we're we're praying for him and hoping he gets well. Yeah, yeah. He had so, uh, pneumonia, I think it was again, plus more of his kidney trouble. So speaking of uh, Mark, you know, <laughs> Mark is Mexican, um, and uh, <laughs> okay, there was a <laughs> listen to my second you That's here. your uh, lead thank off. You, thank you. That's my lead off. So uh, there was a Mexican beauty pageant held for men, the Mr. Tabasco beauty contest, to be precise. Do you think Mark would have won? Did you say tobacco <laughs> or Tabasco? Um, no. Mr. Tabasco, yes. You know, no, like, probably not. You know, Miss America wait, wait, wait. is Mr. Tabasco. Wait, why would they do that in Mexico? I thought Tabasco sauce was made in Louisiana. Uh, apparently, no. Just go with it. Okay, I'm gonna go with it. Okay, don't ask too many questions. Just, just move on. Just move along with it. Mr. Modelo Tabasco. It's a Mexican city, a southeastern Mexican Mexican state city. They have regions. Oh. Uh, apparently, they do. Apparently, it's just not one country. Apparently, they they have it broken down with some sort of organization. Who knew? I know. You know, the more you know. But apparently, the Mr. Tabasco contests um, was scrapped because none of the male contestants were attractive, apparently. Yeah, I was right. It's made at Avery Island. Quit looking at so, fun facts. <laughs> I'm saying, Blue is like that. If he if he's not right about something, he'll nitpick it to fucking death. Nice. Yes, he will. That's him. So look at these sexy son bitches, man. Just look at them. Look, look at their gloriousness. Like... The sad part is the guy, the big guy in the picture in the Puma shirt looks yeah. like me with no facial hair. So it makes me a little bit sad that saying it looks like a I'm not attractive enough. <laughs> I'm not attractive enough. Well, the problem is he doesn't have the facial hair. If he had the facial hair, totally the winner. I'm looking, at the, like Look I'm at, looking the, at the guy in the bottom. Though. I'm looking at the guy in the bottom right. For everyone. Wait a minute. <laughs> Why do these all look like prison photos? Look at their faces. Uh, it might have been fun. Just, like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking at like, the guy why, in the bottom did... right, and he just got that look on his face like, hello, I am Luis. <laughs> now that's I'm just so, racist. I'm sorry, but the five guys with the white and black tank tops, it looks like they're going for a mugshot as a group. <laughs> it looks no, like it your looks like typical like esports they, team. Like the Mexican prison Backstreet Boys. No, they, they look more like they just walked into a gay orgy and they don't know what to do. They're like, uh... Like, uh, I love your outfit! Dude, it's, it's Ricky Martin's backup dancers. <laughs> they're all they're living La Vida Loca. They're Ricky Martin's stunt doubles. <laughs> and I know them. I know the Mexican people oh, who get geez. mad at me for that comment because I, they, I, look, I know... Ricky Martin is Puerto Rican, and you don't, you just don't do that. Trust me, I know because I am myself. So, listen, at the end of the day, they're all the same. All right? No, they're not. <laughs> no, we're not. Oh Lord, you of all people should know that. Come on now. Oh, I know, but that's like the worst thing I can say, and it's just a fun little jab. Oh man. So, did you guys, as a kid? Um, we did, you did some terrible things. I know I didn't because I was a golden child, but you guys were just some regular hoodlums, you know, wrecking shit sure. and doing terrible things. Look, I didn't do terrible stuff like Kyle. I just gave my checks. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> no no well, defending it, yourself, Cal. <laughs> uh, uh, what? And I'm not, I mean, I think I've already. I think I've already yes. said enough stories to kind of <laughs> incriminate you. For yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't feel the need to kind of incriminate myself any further than I have already. Uh, see, I uh, I was the kid. I was actually much more rambunctious, like more willing and daring to do stuff as a kid compared to as like in my teenage period. What, sexually. <clears throat> no, not sexually, but <laughs> like willing to jump off of 30, 30, Foot jumps into the shallow end of the pool. So I, you know, I was uh, known by the first name basis at the by the ER doctors. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. Tim the Tool Man. I've had quite a few uh, broken collarbones. I almost bit off my tongue when I was four. God, we would have only been so lucky. <laughs> 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 so my my question to you guys is, you know, growing up doing all those things and learning how, how angry of a person do you think you are or can you be? Is this a trick question for me? No, there's a difference between raging at a video game and legitimately like angry like, enough to attack. Well, that's, that's what I was about to ask you. I was like, what, which way are you asking? Yeah. Like, are you asking like, I based off the things that we did in our past? Is that what is, are you asking like based off that stuff? Is that why or are we? Do we feel any anger from that, or are you that just asking in general? Are we angry people? Just in general, you know. Maybe maybe it's a little upbringing. Maybe it's just yourself growing into your own skin. Like, how angry of a person do you think you are? I identify with the Hulk a lot, like a really thin white guy. <laughs> and then, like when I get mad, I just like rage out and break controllers and like punch pillows really hard. I'll slap myself in the face a lot too, like when I'm really <laughs> getting into it. Is that kind of well, what I, we're going for? Or no. <laughs> well, I, mean, I, I was thinking maybe a little bit more attacking somebody. Like, would you get mad enough to actually physically assault tried. somebody? I if done anybody that was here, time. maybe. Like, I, <laughs> I barely restrained myself from attacking Factor a lot on site. Well, look, I actually, more verbal. I actually consider myself, you, I consider myself kind of like a you. like a mellow Back. type person. So I'm really, really mellow. But like, but if if the right button is pushed, I, I can I I I can't explode. But I know Gears of War used to make him explode. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I re- hey, were you there the day uh, Senpai when uh, Factor exploded at GameStop over something small? Uh, I remember the time the carry, he out. I don't carry remember that. Over yeah. like some fucking noise. Like, the carry was doing like some annoying noise and he just exploded. It was hilarious. <laughs> we should have shot that fuck up. I'm like, oh, there's people in the store. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I was a normal customer, those bad stuff I would have thought, you know, then like poor employee, but I knew the asshole probably deserved it. <laughs> I don't remember that, to be honest with you. Yeah, because just... you read out and you forget the details. <laughs> you read out and you forget the details. I don't even details. know what. Like, I'm sure it wasn't even that that made me mad. I'm sure it was like just a buildup from crap from like throughout the course of the day are, and the week that just sure kind of came to a halt. Are you something to do with like cursing on the radio or lockers getting knocked over? Look, that <laughs> was back when I was in school and I was defending myself. Uh, look, you read what, out cussing on the radio is defending yourself. No, that right. we just we did out of fun. We I didn't realize the ramifications of it, but look, <laughs> we 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 all make stupid decisions. Well, <laughs> well, this leads me kind of to my next story. Um, this this apparently this couple right uh, lived together, and uh, this girl apparently got so mad at her boyfriend playing PUBG and using dating apps on his phone that during the night while he slept, she attacked him with a samurai sword. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> and apparently, the, the, the guy in the relationship defended himself, and he's actually pretty ha- pleased with himself for being able to defend uh, Oh, let, me, let me get the quote right. I was so proud for beating this samurai wannabe crazy lady with hate in her heart. <laughs> so, he was, I mean, he was how old was he? Business. 
what he wasn't doing. Yeah, so he's okay. Nine. Oh, so he's not a millennial. Oh, oh my god. god! Did you got? Oh god! I got. I gotta show you this. She gotta show you this link, guys. You have to look at the link and scroll down a little bit, and look at the crazy, uh, the crazy girl. Oh god! Just to give you a heads up, she looks like someone that would stab you with a samurai sword. Why is she Asian? Uh, no, she's not really particularly hot, and no, she's not Asian. Oh well, then why would she, like a samurai sword? I, 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 I listen. Like, I can't say who's a weeboo and who's wait, not wait, a weeboo. Wait. That was racist, but he just compared everyone of Latin culture to each other? No, Pretty I much. said that was racist, too. Like, if you oh, okay. why do you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, she got the same hair color as, like, the, the crazy dude that shot up the movie male. theater. <laughs> I yeah. don't know, man. I don't know. But hey, you know, props to this guy for surviving a samurai sword account, like, but wait, sword like fight uh, with just his hand. He's, he's making it like the story's making it sound like the re- <laughs> like the reason why she got mad is not justified. <laughs> it's pretty justified. justified. I mean, if you're, if you're cheating on your girl by using dating apps, though, while she's there in the house, <laughs> it it doesn't count for attempted murder. <laughs> Don't mess up in my America. Phone. <laughs> the the pump is one thing, but like if you like going on dating apps and stuff like that, you're kind of you're kind of calling for it at some point. Yeah, I mean, she could have done something much worse. She could have like closed his account with Microsoft, so he lost all his bought stuff and then sold his Xbox. Yeah, that too. I was just like, man, I just I don't. Apparently, I, someone's mic fucking their mic. Yeah. Fumi, take the mic out of your throat. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I just, it sounded uh, like you were massaging your microphone seductively. It was amazing. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, okay, the attempted murder is not justified, but some of that, you know, so he kind of brought because your boyfriend doesn't pay attention to you and he cheats on you is ground for you to kill him? No. Totally. I didn't I say that. I said that's not justified, but to expect you no ramification at all. You just made the stance that it was. To, but to expect no ramifications for that at all, you're just plain stupid. No, yeah. I don't. I didn't say you don't expect any ramifications. I'm saying murder is not... <laughs> Murder is a legit. I'm not saying murder is. I mean, I, I, who? I mean, nobody would in their right mind would ever say that. I'm just saying, you know, you kind of brought this on yourself. Oh, I man. disagree. I don't know. Maybe that makes me cynical or what. But you kind of, first of all, you know what kind of girl you have. If you didn't notice that she was that kind of a person ahead of time, <clears throat> then you just weren't paying enough attention, and that's your own fault. And then That's true. you should definitely know if your girlfriend is one is cut a bitch. Yeah. That's just good information to have. Honestly, okay. she looks like the psycho type. So, so this means she's single now, right? So I, <laughs> well, yeah, Blue, it's all you, buddy. So, <laughs> whereas I, I don't agree with the attempt to murder, but he did bring uh, it upon himself. California, so. I think. Damn. Damn. Too far. <laughs> well,. And there's that mic fucking again. Oh, it's so <laughs> great. It makes my oh. ears bleed so much. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Third time I'm driving to your house and punching you in the dick. Oh, yeah. He's about to anyway, jerk it off. I right? do I do have some sad news, guys. I do have some sad news to report. Uh, don't don't you talk about Toys R Us. It's too soon. No, I'm not going to talk about Toys R Us. We all know what's going on. But apparently, did you know there's only two... Blockbuster video stores left that are owned by independent franchisees. I didn't know there was any more left to begin with. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? I knew but, there were a few like <clears throat> independent movie rental places no. still in business because there's one down the road in Rockingham. No, but this this is an actual Blockbuster video, and unfortunately, the one in the North Pole, the North Pole Blockbuster video, <laughs> is finally. Closing its doors. You mean they finally called up to 2002? <laughs> Santa decided to go digital. <laughs> Santa goes shopping on Amazon now. Which is, 
Oh my god. That's kind of sad, man. Like So where's the last one? I don't know. It doesn't this article doesn't say where the last uh Oh, it's in Anchorage. Oh, Alaska, so it's not too far away. So So there's one more blockbuster in Anchorage holding the ground, holding the pat. That's the last blockbuster. Think about that, guys. It is the last blockbuster. And it's owned by an independent? Yeah, an independent franchisee who got permission to keep the name and all the fun stuff. Like, <clears throat> that's crazy. Now, you think dude. the store wonder, still looks like it did in 2002? Wonder, oh, it does. Here, I wonder if he still know, makes uh, like, like local commercials that say, make it a blockbuster night. That is a great name. You can't say Blockbuster is not a great name for a business. Oh, it was a great right. name. It was, yeah. Dude, you can't. You guys can't tell me that a rocking night wouldn't be going would. to Blockbuster, getting like the newest game. I worked there, oh, so it I was know. Perfect in our area because Papa John's was right next door to Blockbuster. Dude, okay. Store. When I, when I you, worked, you at... went to Papa John's. You placed your order. Went next door. Made your picks for the night, then went back, picked up your feud, and went home. Right, Factor? Uh, dude, I work, I used to work there. I used to go right next door to grab a piece <laughs> and then come right back to work. And I worked at Papa John's for a short time. So I used to <laughs> run over the Blockbuster in between. <laughs> dude, I'm, t- I'm telling you, dude, that was like a match made in heaven. I was like, oh, we're right next to Papa John's. Of we always get the match made in heaven for you with pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do you think he's fat? That's just that's just not nice. That's just blue. <clears throat> well, speaking yeah. of stuff, you know, from our childhood and moving on to the next thing. No, no. This is have you have you ever had like a daydream or a thought? Why you do these teases? Where, yeah, this what? is a horrible segue. Like, in the in, in the back my in the back of my mind, every time you begin one of these, it's like, oh, here comes the Toys R Us. Here comes Toys R Us, and it's like, I'm not going to talk about Toys R Us. I'm not going to talk about Toys R Us. Okay, real quick for anybody who doesn't know about Toys R Us, it's shutting down. Our childhood's <laughs> destroyed. You talked about Toys R Us. Fuck you. It's the end, dude. It's, God it's bless America. My, like so, half of my childhood is like just shredded now. <laughs> I, mean, I remember getting I my went, ass beat so Nintendo. much in Toys R Us for <laughs> throwing tantrums and not getting my toys. I got yeah. the I got the worst ass whooping I ever got as a kid because of Toys R Us. <laughs> really? I did not know that. I did. That's where I used to buy all my video games at was Toys R Us because that was the nearest place that sold them. Does anybody remember Kitty City? Kitty City? Yeah. Sorry. No, it was a it was a chain of it was a chain of toy stores, but it was more in the in the the north. But it was like in the north, it was like the the Toys R Us rival, but it was a little bit smaller than Toys R Us. But nope, didn't have that in Florida. Sorry. (laughs) Well, that's why I say it was more in the north than you would find in the south. Exactly. All right. Honestly, don't have a clue about it, brother. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm. Shame. But um. Speaking of travel, and speaking of my original uh, idea here, you ever dream while driving like, oh my God, if only like a sack of money could fall from the heavens and fall in front of me and I could collect all that delicious money and uh, all my problems would be like solved or I wish bars of gold would fall from the sky and I'd be like, yeah, I'm fucking rich, bitch. Woo. No, anybody? Just me? This is just a me thing? That's just you, bro. (laughs) <laughs> wow <laughs> fuck y'all <laughs> well apparently but we'll in, play russia, along. in russia millions of dollars worth of gold bars fall out of a plane and land all over russia uh-huh that's gonna hurt i was gonna say i bet that didn't work out for people that- the way you would think it would Gold is pretty dense, I mean. Yeah, gold is pretty dense. Uh, gold, other precious metals, ring, jewelry. Who fucking cares about that? It's money. That it makes the connections on my HDMI cable. Did you really just there. say, who cares about money? No, I said, who cares I, about jewelry? Well, in, in total, they lost $368 million worth of gold. Ooh! Oh, my God. 
That's a, a lot, lot of money. gold. I don't think that pilot is going to be flying anytime soon. Stupid. I don't. <laughs> oh, apparently what had happened is the plane was flying over one of the coldest places in Russia. And the cargo bay had some sort of mechanical failure. And uh, it was a pretty just... fucking significant <laughs> failure. Trump right And in. all that gold just uh, disappeared. They're in the process of recovering it. I but wonder what nice what? citizens will turn it in. Yes, I know what <laughs> wonderful well, it, Russian Russia, comrades so. will turn it in. None. <laughs> Would you? Some, some guy's probably already drilled a hole through it and ran a chain from his truck through it. Let's be honest. Would you turn it in? Yes, because I wouldn't want to be killed by the <laughs> fucking KGB or whoever they have now. Could you imagine? Would you take that risk, though? But no. you're, you're you're in like one of the coldest places on earth. They're gonna notice you rolling in with the new like Gucci <laughs> snowmobile. Like uh, <laughs> Gucci Would makes you get snowmobiles. <laughs> they do if you have oh, three hundred and fifty oh. million dollars. No, you know what? Hold on, I that you you had to bring up Gucci, and I had forgot about something. Just okay. keep going for now. I gotta. Oh, oh hell. my goodness gracious! Look what so, you've done. So, question for you guys. Have you ever been sued by a school? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> they wanted to, but they didn't. <laughs> That's so, a question for you guys. Have any of you ever been <laughs> sued by a school? Now, here's another question for you. When's the last time you've been to college, if you went to college at all? I graduated in 2006, I believe. Well, how old were you? Uh, 21, 22. Boomy, how about you? Um, I went to community college. This would have been around 04. 04? And yeah. you said you were 22? No. No, how old are you? No, how old were you when you were in college? Oh, uh, yeah, I was in my mid, uh, early 20s. Okay. So there's this lady in New York, right? Well, it instantly assumes I didn't go to fucking college. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were I looking for people, something. I think people yeah, well, I found it. My- <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Blue, oh, what about you? Uh, so, 17 years, because I was 18. Okay, maybe. So, anyway, <laughs> lady in New York, living in a dorm. Did you guys ever live in a dorm or no? No. Uh, to college? I partied enough in them. Not a lot of space in a dorm, right? Depends right. on the college. We're talking about New York City. It's, it's a tiny, going to be a little tiny place. Again, depends. I mean, you, talk, well, you go... York, everything in New York is tiny. You go to Juilliard, you get a pretty good room. Well, okay. I give you that. Can't really front you on that. Uh, well, apparently this lady, uh, 32 years old, hasn't been to college in <clears throat> since 2016, so only two years, has been staying illegally in this dorm, and the school is now suing her for $150,000. For what? And doing now, just squatting in the door? Pretty much. She just refuses to leave the dorm. She had no, did she graduate? Like, like she what? Did she, she never she dropped out? Did she, she never out. come out? Like, they couldn't have, like, when she locked out, like, bolted the door shut or something? <clears throat> they could have uh, got police to ask her I think she's changed the locks to the building over and over again, or it's got some mm-hmm. way to get back in, but they, uh, they've gave her a 30 day eviction notice in September, 2017. And, uh, she's just been living in that little dorm. It's like a 500 square foot dorm. It's it's tiny. God. It is. Yeah. The while they just get the police, they do it all the time for people that get evicted. Apparently they have, and she refuses to leave. So I, I, it, I can't look into any more than what I I've got here. 
the squatting white. laws are different yep. in every state. I know that. Like, it becomes difficult if they have, just for example, because I, I know from hearing about it on things like California, like, if you don't pay rent, say you have children, like, they can serve you the eviction notice, but they can't actually make you leave if you don't have a place to take the children for, that's safe. I think she just lives by herself. Uh, I'll just use that, that as an life. Yeah, I'll just <laughs> okay. use that as an example, but you get the idea. I mean, like every state is different. It's, it's quote convenient for her to live there because she's close to everything. <laughs> and I mean, it's hard to get an apartment downtown. I mean, I mean, she does have a point there. She's got the so, cafeteria she can walk to. I mean, yeah, I mean, I get it. I mean, I, I mean, there's a lot of pros to living. At a college dorm, you dorm. know. Why didn't she just re-enroll and take one class every fucking semester? Because <laughs> that costs money. Money. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Do you know it how much college cost classes much. cost? Uh, like I said, I haven't been there since I was seventeen, and needless to say, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> needless to say, uh. My personality doesn't fit well in college. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, I left myself willingly because a six weeks trade school was a way for me to go. <laughs> no, Blue, come now. You're such great company. <laughs> a blood so well man doesn't count as a fucking <laughs> trade school. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, even whores need education too now, all right? God. Boomy, I know. Let me, let me, you let me see your certificate. Me. <laughs> let me see your framed above sir. the TV. <laughs> Low job Academy. <laughs> Take a picture of a lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha cum laude. <laughs> Alpha cum later. Oh, oh my God. <clears throat> anyway, guys, uh, we're gonna wrap it up right here. Take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, I've got a huge nostalgia bomb. I, I'm, I am personally excited for Ready Player One. It's a movie coming out. It's actually a book. It's a really good book. But fuck <laughs> you, piece of shit. What? What are you talking about? Uh, Waking up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wake up to this cock in your mouth here in a second. Ooh. I know, right? Anyway, Ready Player One's a fantastic movie. I can't wait for it. Really good book. Like, if you haven't read the book, you should read it. Like, I actually, you like, realize I will. I, I, will I mean, I, I do want to see this, it, right? but Steven Spielberg's at the helm, so I'm still always a little bit nervous. Why are you so anti Steven Spielberg? E.T. <laughs> No, E.T. is a great movie. You shut your fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And no, I, I'm not saying it, it really is, but like past Steven Spielberg, yeah, I mean, fantastic. New Spe- like the new Steven? New Steven I'm, Spielberg? I'm no. good. I'm sorry. What, a director dude. can't make a bad movie? There's a thing about making a bad movie and a string of bad movies. Yes. Thank you. Mm, what, what are the bad movies? My Anything Girl. from Michael Bay after the third Transformers. And he's Actually, produced a lot I'm of that crap, too. I'm talking about Steven Spielberg. Huh? I'm talking about Steven Spielberg. What, what, what is his grand crime to society? Uh, E.T., the video game. That was, he, 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 didn't, he didn't do the video game. He approved the making of that bullshit. Dude, he Once sold the license. He made money off of a name. Yeah. That and a six-week deadline. So... So that, that wasn't Steven I want to know these movies that just crucify fucking uh, Steven Spielberg here because he's made a lot of good movies. The Last like, Indie, War lot. of the Worlds. I mean, that all that crap is just garbage. Yeah. So War of the Worlds. That's it. No, that was garbage. 
Okay, so one movie. <clears throat> Hold that, on. That makes like, I'm trying to remember like every. I'm trying to remember anymore. every movie he made in like the past. I know, Five it's like years, you suck one dick and all of a sudden you're a cop <laughs> That is kind of how it works. Uh, I mean... Hold you know on. What? I'll pull, I'll pull up his movie list point, here. Point, in the... point, point taken. Point taken. I mean, excellent counterpoint there, Boomy. <laughs> um, all right, hold on. Speaking from experience, I know, so... <laughs> um, oh, you shot to cock? You yeah, went to Bob Job University, oh. so... <laughs> <laughs> It's true. He's got his degree hanging over his TV. So switching gears real quick. uh, Monster Hunter has got a lot of new shit coming out. Uh, We've got the Devil Joe update uh, coming out next week. Coming out with new weapons, uh, new armor. Uh, Lou, I swear to Christ, I will fucking gut you. All right. Look, Look, I'm waiting for the Mega Man Palico. That's all I want. It's coming this April with the Devil May Cry as well. Mega Man is one of the most overrated pieces of shit. Shut your fucking mouth, you ignorant regnet (laughs) trash. Really? Wow. Wow. He's actually passionate about something, boys and girls. Would you imagine that? Mm. I will fuck you in a way you don't like it. Okay, I have have a list of, by the way, of some of the Steven Spielberg movies that were trash. All right, hit me. Hit me with three. Top Uh, three. Go. Boom. War of the Worlds, The Terminal. Uh, Catch Me If You Can. Catch Me If You Can wasn't terrible. Yeah, I was going to say it wasn't terrible. It's not top three worthy. It wasn't great. Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Yeah, Uh, horrible. That was just absolutely horrible. Listen, they were interdimensional beings, all right? Blame a Steven Spielberg for that, or do you blame Shia LaBeouf? <laughs> for what? For what? I, I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, for Indiana Jones. Okay. Oh, that that's partially him because he had a hand in the casting. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I don't. I don't know if I can be mad at. I and, liked the and, movie. It wasn't a bad and, movie. The ending was shit. And Minority Report. I mean, Minority movie. Report was was a decent movie, but it's it's not like top ten worthy of Steven Spielberg. Yeah, but it's Steven not, Spielberg has done like amazing. Out plus, of it had like, plus it had Tom Cruise in there, which is like a double negative. Wait, you yeah. don't like Tom Cruise? No. Why don't you like Tom Cruise, bro? Oh, Cruiser, Bruiser. <laughs> Yeah, what's wrong, man? Why why are you hating on Tom Cruise? Uh, just not just. I mean, I like some of his movies, but I'm just not a huge fan. I mean, some of his movies he does is actually really good, but come just, on, man, that's Jack Reacher. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. that <laughs> makes Jack it all Reacher, better you then. Mean, you mean uh, the born wannabe? What? <laughs> wow, man, he rocked hard shit, man. And what? So, uh, does anybody other than me still play uh, Monster Hunter, by the way? I haven't logged on to a bit, but I've been playing a lot of GTA Five because mm. someone told me to buy it for Xbox. I did. When I had an Xbox. And yeah, it took and you... Hold on. No, no, hold on, hold on. I've actually marked the calendar when I told you to buy Grand Theft Auto. And let's see how long it took you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... 11 months it took you to buy it for the Xbox One. But I did buy it. 11 months, Blue. 11. That's true, though. He held up his word. Yeah, you can't call me a liar. <laughs> I bought it. <laughs> that dude saved up. Saying, did I say you were a liar? No. I'm saying you're incredibly <laughs> What What, did you save, like, 5 or $6 a month? <laughs> no, I just waited for it to go on flash, like a sale of the week or something. You know, it has been on sale. It's been on sale at least times. A month. Look, look, I just didn't go to the game. That game's been out since when? That game was like, what, 2000 and... That game's almost like five years old, yeah. if not more. It's older than that. No, it's five years old. It's, it's 80 million consoles. I know because I I read an article recently. That. GTA Five came out before <laughs> the new consoles did. Yeah. Did. Well, I had it That's back true. on the 360, but I traded it with my 360. They don't I'll give you a date right now. Hold on. All right. We're looking it up. Do, do, do. Oh, by the way, uh, for, for Street Fighter, because we were talking about this earlier, uh, how 
Eggs, Boomy exactly likes, five uh, years. No, it's blue. Blue, you like Street Fighter Five. I like Street Fighter Five. I think, and I said, why buy that garbage? And you should get Marvel vs. Capcom because that's an ultimately better game. But it's hot garbage. It is not hard. I won't know. The hard. new one is all right, but it's not great. All right, yeah, it's not great. But I'd rather play three over Infinite. Oh, it's on sale, Bubby. You can buy but, it right now. But it's just one of those things where I don't have, like Fortnite, PUBG. I don't have as in Marvel vs. Capcom as I do in like Street Fighter. Okay, you broke up through half of that. So you said, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you said PUBG. Marvel versus said, Capcom. It's like Street comparing Fire. Fortnite to PUBG when you were when we were talking on the PlayStation the other day. I don't have as much fun playing Marvel vs. Capcom as I do Street. How? Though? I just That's don't. That's my question. I you are literally to. playing the same characters. Yep. No, because does Marvel vs. Capcom Phoenix move too fast isn't for you? In Street Fighter Five. Hold on. What do you say, uh, Factor? Or is is it the speed of the game? You just don't like the the fast combat of Marvel versus Capcom. Is that it? I don't like the tag in and out function, uh, the health regeneration aspect, uh, part of the speed, uh, but that's not necessarily like a deal breaker for me because I I like turbo mode in Street Fighter. So um, it's not a speed issue. You just don't like yeah. the tag in and out feature. Yeah, that's one of the big things. Like I I'm old school, man. I grew up playing Street Fighter and all of its SNK ripoffs. So, you know, I like the one-on-one aspect. All the game. SNK games had the tag in and out. So not all of them. Yeah, are, all of them. Not all of them. Art Maybe of the Fighting first one did, did not. Samurai Showdown did not. Uh, King of Fighters did not have a tag wait, in. Wait, wait. Samurai that Showdown character. is like uh, Soul Calibur. It's pre-Soul Calibur, but it was made by SNK. Yeah, but it's Soul Calibur. It's with weapons, right. but it was one-on-one fighting. <laughs> I know Boomy. It's Soul Calibur, you sucker. That's a total. That's a totally different game. We're talking I know about. Boomy's on the other on the Samurai other side right now, just really, Soul really Calibur. holding his breath, like. Mm, mm. All right, Boomy. Okay. Let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear you. Let's hear it now. Oh, All right. the new Marvel vs. Capcom is trash. I'm a huge Marvel vs. Capcom person, but you can't have a Marvel vs. Capcom game without like any X Men in it. That's the but dumbest you, fucking you thing. You can because of legal reasons, apparently. Yeah, that that does suck hardcore. Like, no yeah, Cyclops, like none of those people. No like, Wolverine is Capcom in every two crossover is untouchable. Game. Yeah, Wolverine's been in every crossover game. Not, not in Infinite. Yeah, like it's just, I do, it's I do miss Cyclops. I miss Gambit. I miss uh, Nightcrawler. Oh, God, Gambit, Marvel's Capcom 2 with Iceman. Love him. Yeah, so just, you, you, do, you do have a point there. But we were we were talking about uh, how re- there's remastered everything nowadays, right? Like uh, I'm looking literally right now at the Disney Afternoon Collection remastered. Yeah. I'm super excited about the uh, Burnout Paradise remastered. I cannot wait to buy yeah, that. Spe- it just mentioned the SNK. A lot of those mastered for the PlayStation and Xbox's downloads, like cheap ones recently. Everything from Metal Slug to there's Street Fighter. <laughs> this dude is stuff. on some SNK trip right now. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I mean, can you get off of SNK's nuts real quick? Now, a friend, I'm kind of jealous as a retro friend of <coughs> online found. So I heard that, by Neo the way. Geo at, a, <laughs> at a garage. <laughs> <laughs> Who fucking farted? <laughs> Brad was booming. Why are you even asking? <laughs> Why you know that mean? was booming. Why the fuck is it me? <laughs> oh, God. That was like perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you sucking ass in K's dick? No, the friend of mine online that in a, like, a retro game group that I know. Uh-huh. Anyway, he found a Neo Geo a cartridge edition at a fucking yard sale and got it for like 20 bucks with five games. Wow. Are y'all going to play that at y'all's next gangbang? Uh, no, because he lives in, like, Island. Uh, but, like, when that system came out in the early 90s, it was $1,000. He lives and in what? they still make games for it. Rhode Island. Oh, all I heard was Island. So I was like, he lives on the island? Like, he lives on an island? <laughs> he, he lives, lives on England. a island. No, he lives old England. England. He got, and he actually got some good games for it. So, they still make games for that fucking day. 
uh, what games? What is the newest Neo Geo game that's been made? <laughs> it's <laughs> like I don't see commercials for. No, you don't see it. You have Neo to. Geo. You have to order them online from me. And yeah. Fucking Bob yeah, you got to order from this guy named again. Bob. No, not from Bob. You actually this guy Bob named Bob. Bob. Them hook you up. From SNK, mm-hmm. and like the home console was like basically the same thing as what was in their arcade. It just had a fancy plastic case. And the cartridges are the same thing. Like they're the size of an old school, like computer monitor. They're like six inches wide, you know, and they're giant. You shove them in the top. So, All of our listeners have fucking cut this shit off. I'm probably. About SMK shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk about remasters real quick because apparently, Sega. yes, there's a Sega remaster coming out for Xbox and PlayStation Four. No switch. Movie. What, what is your issue with remaster? Because you were about to go on a tangent and a rant, and I kind of cut you off because I wanted to save it for this. So hit, hit me with uh, your no, take I, on the I remaster. I don't mind remasters. I just mm-hmm. I would love for them to do a Marvel vs. Capcom two remaster, remake, not remaster. Even if it was remaster, I would take that over the current Marvel vs. Capcom bullshit that we got. And like, did you ever look at the premium costumes? Like, you know, we give Battlefront a whole bunch of shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. And their fucking premium costumes cost $40 for one additional costume for every character. Yeah, I have to admit, like, Street that Fighter... Great <laughs> horse shit. Street that Fighter, is pretty horse shit, I'm not going to lie to you. Street Fighter's kind of gone the way with costumes like uh, Dead or Alive did. Yeah, like, I'll never buy another Dead or Alive game after that fucking last round bullshit. Yeah, the like, last not, They're round, not going to make another Dead or Alive game. The la- <laughs> last round, I think, had, like, when it came to... It actually had season pass for costumes and sets, and they were, like, $80 a piece. Like, if you bought one season pass, you bet, spent more for it than you did for the game. Yeah, these people are fucking high as shit if they think I'm spending $80 Jake bounce around in a fucking onesie. Like, yeah. there's no fucking way. Are you going like to get how, um? Are you going to get Soul Calibur? What, what amount of money, real quick, to just the harp on this point? What amount of money is too much money for DLC? for a skin? For no, a skin? like just in total. I'm talking about the total amount of money. What it is depends on money? what the DLC is. They're saying DL, DLC I mean, as a, a whole. There's a game for the PlayStation that has like a hundred dollar DLC. Yeah, that's the boob gun game. Yeah, you know? I mean... I've bought plenty of, like, skins <laughs> or costumes that were, like, two or three bucks. I mean, but normally you get, like, five or six or, you know, like... You, you get, get one or two in the league. Yeah. Like, uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, I think they did three costumes for, like, a dollar forty-nine or something like that. Like, it was real minute. Like, it wasn't a lot. Yeah, we but get like, something like the classic... Uh, retro yeah ninja. the classic costumes or whatever but then like you know a premium costume and i put i, I put premium in quotations for marvel's capcom like these premium costumes is just one fucking different skin for forty dollars like now is there no way to unlock it like <laughs> naturally no no not at all not any way shape or form no, the only promotion I saw with it <laughs> was if you bought Spider-Man Homecoming on the Microsoft Store, they gave you the Spider-Man premium costume for free. That was the only promotion I saw with the game. Mm. Mm. So, like, where's all the fucking outrage? You know, like, Battlefront, at least Battlefront was up front with the shit. They were like, here's microtransactions, we're gonna fuck you. Do you like it or not? <laughs> it's like a lot of people just fucking bought the shit anyway because they're like, "Oh, it's Star Wars. I don't give a shit. Fuck me in my ass all day long. I don't care." But Marvel vs. Capcom, we went into it blind, like we just walked into the hotel room. They bent us over and started ramming it in our ass, and we didn't even know what was happening. <laughs> I mean, That's you're not wrong. Descriptions. You know, I, I got a question real quick because it sounds like. Not so much as you being angry about the game, but more so that you're angry that you bought it. Did you buy that DLC? 
No, I didn't. Okay. It, <laughs> like I'm no, I'm such a fan of the Marvel vs. Capcom series. It was just kind of like a fucking punch in the face. Like, oh, you've supported us for so long. Oh, you want these costumes? Fuck you. You're gonna have to give us a fucking <laughs> another another price of a game. Like, I spent seventy or eighty dollars on the whatever the fucking limited bullshit edition was anyway like it should have came with all those costumes i should have had to pay another 40 dollars. who are you telling because we we bought like the 250 dollar collector's edition and we got four additional costumes and that was it four four (laughs) well (laughs) we got four four. but we got the character pass too which that 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 on its own, really irked the shit this, out of me. Like, this is a quick I gotta game. pay for extra characters now. Like, what happened I to mean, just Street unlocking Fighter them? I char- charged you for extra characters. Yeah. yeah, but you could unlock them with grinding too. Though, like, you could grind to your fucking heart's content to get those characters. Where in the other games, you can't. That's true. You could just look on as uh, a. <laughs> It slaps you with his big ta ta ta. Well, well, look at something by comparison here, because it's been out for a while too. Killer Instinct on Xbox, um, like you, it gave you a character, but that character changed it with availability. So every couple of months, like you might have Jago to start now, all of a sudden you can't use Jago anymore, but you can use Saber. He's a free character, and that's if you don't do that. I, I blame Killer Instinct for this fucking trend of I kind of do characters and the skins and all that shit. It, I, I kind of do, but Killer Instinct has <laughs> only like a handful of skins per character. Do you really blame have, Killer Instinct for that? Because oh, uh, that's the first game I can remember where you have to buy extra yeah. characters. More than Combat does. Real fast, they they have three seasons worth of characters, but they've given away. One and two for free as part of the Games for Gold program, which is all the classic and most of the newer characters as well. I don't know. I just. I don't think I blame Killer Instinct only because Killer Instinct, again, from the beginning, told people their model. Yeah, they, they told said, people. They that. said, this I don't think they told people that. their model. Like, no, people they, were expecting a Killer Instinct game and they got. Microtransactions. No, they they, were, they explained they it pretty. Told that they E three like yeah, it's they, coming out. The game is free. You will give be given Jago to try, and then after a while, he will be swapped out to another character. Yeah, they explained it pretty well during the press conference that that they're that look. You can download the game. These are going to be the characters that are going to be free. Hold on, hold on, and like, you can buy them if you want. But it's here's not the difference: required. though. Killer Instinct wasn't fifty nine ninety nine. Nope. No, the game itself is free. Yeah, so by the time, if you really add it up, especially if you caught it on sale, you can get every fucking character in Killer Instinct that they released for like $30. No, I think the most I've seen the Ultra, because they have different packages, they have break uh, individual price characters and stuff, and they have Breakers, which is just characters without skins, and they have Ultra, which have the skins plus the classic games. And they usually run thirty nine ninety five, but I've seen them on sale with different like bundles and stuff half price. So for sixty bucks, you can have all three season seasons plus all these skins and stuff plus Killer Instinct arcade editions one and two. Yep. And that even covers the home console of the Super Nintendo port of Killer Instinct and the Killer Instinct Gold from the N sixty. Yep. Like and. Big Boss, like we did, we spent, what, 200 250 on Marvel vs. Capcom, and that still is not enough to get everything that that game yeah. has to offer. No, it is I'm, not. I can't really, like, Killer Instinct may have started the thing of charging people for characters and stuff, but I think they did it right, because 40 bucks for as much content as you get, and the game itself is free, that's not a bad thing. It really, and it's, it really makes yeah. me wonder how how they're going to treat Soul Calibur when it comes out and how they're going to do their their characters, oh, costumes, and stuff like that. And not... Especially with the White Wolf in it. Well, you know what? Tekken didn't. Like, Tekken had stuff, but at least it came with a full roster. Right. Like, it had a, extra stuff you could buy. So I think they're going to take the Tekken route and do the season pass stuff. And yeah, I, I and, hope so. And they got to have... Characters is fucking stupid. And like, they got to have that White Wolf. and Injustice as well. But I like... I like Keith Howard in Tekken. 
and they gotta have White Wolf as part of the actual game itself when you first buy it because <laughs> he's on the he's on the box art. So you can't well, put a character on the day box one art. DLC not. for free if you pre-order the game. Yeah, well, I don't. Yeah, I, I that think sounds just, like a GameStop promotion if I've ever heard one. Yeah, I know, right? Fucking GameStop. But I don't think they would put him on the box art of the game if he if he's not in the actual roster list. Well, remember there's, back. There could uh, be different box arts of the game. Yeah, there's remember back. It, and then there's a regular copy of the game. Remember back with what was it? You had uh, GameCube, Xbox, PlayStation Two. You had Link had on the GameCube Spawn. Yeah, but they were in the game. They yeah. them, like you didn't have to buy them. Yeah, and Heiache. Yeah, but, but they it, were console exclusives. Each one. Exactly. I mean, that's that's different. From we what did what that, we're talking about. They did that with the other Star, the other Soul Calibur too, with the Yoda, Yoda and, and Darth, Vader. Uh, Darth Vader. But again, they were part of the game. They were on the box art. They were there from day one. You didn't have to download them or pre order or anything like that. Right. Although I'm I'm kind of glad to see like they're not doing a different character <laughs> version, like for <Bert> console. <laughs> well, we know Microsoft wouldn't do anything like that because they don't do exclusives anymore. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, Microsoft's out of the exclusive game now. You like, know what? Is that true? No, that's not true. Microsoft has changed uh, focus. Name one. Stuff. Name one like fucking. Uh, Triple A title is exclusive to Xbox. Pub right Sea of Thieves. Don't worry, I'll wait. Sea of Thieves. Well, if you're talking I about console, tri- if you're ta- I said Triple A exclusive, not no fucking Sea of Thieves. If you're talking about like Stand of K two, <sighs> I'll keep waiting. <laughs> Look, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Dave, if you're talking about too. console release, then uh, I mean console release, then I would probably put PUBG in that category. Yeah, PUBG. All right, that's one. I'll keep waiting. Yeah, but that's not a Gears. Microsoft. Like Microsoft didn't make that. Game. Yeah, that was. Yeah, they. they that was a PC game. Hey, they were like, Sony but, doesn't but, make a lot of things. Look, it, it was a PC game that was made for PC, but they got the console rights for it. So yeah, I, I they, give them they that. were like, "Please, we need something to make our console special." <laughs> and Sony then, doesn't make. And then, honestly, the there. only the only other things sure. that they got is they got Gears and Halo. Like, that's it. Okay, which we haven't had. I mean, like, there's nothing on the horizon for those. You got yeah, Uncharted. We don't, you got we don't know other than Street the fact that they're playing their biggest. You got God of War. Like, where the fuck are these other titles at? Look, Microsoft has, has made the announcement for their E3 convention show, and they're promising their biggest show ever. How about Blinks the Time Cat? Who fucking remembers that? Oh, my God. Yeah. Fusion Frenzy. That's yeah, what that's yeah. what they're bringing back. Fusion frenzy. Fusion frenzy. There you yes. go. What we've all wanted is more. brute force two. <laughs> Crimson skies two. Oh will shit out of my dick if they announced Mech that. Assault <laughs> three. <laughs> oh, dude, if they did Mech Assault three, I would I would shit out of my dick. I would. This white man yeah. said. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, if they if they pulled out like a Crimson Skies or something like that, dude, I'd probably flip. Well, you know, they were all hyped about it with, you know, releasing the original Xbox games on the and Xbox that's why One. I'm, and Crimson Skies was one of their, like, marquee games they said was backwards compatible. Honestly, that was a good game. I played the fuck out of that thing, online and offline. <laughs> I'm, trying to, like, I'm trying to, like, look ahead at, at E3, and, 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 like, I look at the calendar, and I'm like, holy crap, like, E3 is literally only, like, what, three oh, months, away? months away? Yeah. I'm I'm like I'm like when honestly right after uh February, March when most of the games after Christmas games have come out, you know? Like that's when I'm always like excited well, to three and I swear like it's always can forever and now it's like a week away or something. Well this year well, don't worry. After after E three and we do another podcast, I'll be here still waiting for the fucking triple A myself. You know, have, like my SpongeBob guy. Two thousand years later. Like I'm looking I at the uh, Microsoft shows because they show a car during each one. Fuck you, yeah. Boomy. Yeah, we'll see. I'll <laughs> still be waiting. Oh my god. So, real quick, guys, who, who wants to feel old? Me, me. All right. So, a lot of these games I'm about to list off turned twenty this year, uh, starting with Resident Evil Two. 1998. Claire. That was a really good Resident Evil. Claire! 
better. When did that game come out in 98? Was that earlier? Or January 28th. Yeah, January 98th. Oh, to start the it year It was off. my birthday present that year. I get wet just thinking about that game still. I actually, oh, did, a, really? I actually did a full Final let's play of that tactics. game. Oh, I love that game. That was also. It took me forever to get Cloud, his Buster Sword, and his Materia. With tactics, you could beat Cloud. You could get Cloud. It was really hard. You had to do a lot of things in a in the right order by a certain point in the game. But you, and even then, after getting Cloud, you had to find his Buster Sword before you could use him, and then you had to find his Materia to bring him up to full power. That's some high level nerd shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were it's usually, not high level it's next level yeah that you were usually 170 hours in if you didn't like rush through but so game. let's see xeno gears came out February 11 1998 you know that game deserves a proper sequel because that was a good they had well, the a first game. half no xeno saga is not xeno gears no they had a xeno gears game the robot shoot em up game yeah they'll remake that no, Xeno Gears was a uh, RPG on the PlayStation. All right, what about Tenchu Stealth Assassin? I didn't get into those. Well, this one I definitely got into StarCraft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I played the Star Rush. You must construct additional pylons. I that came out the thirty first. Uh, how about Ten Eighty Snowboarding? Who hey, remember that game? I, I, uh, I played the shit out of that. I had an N64. I didn't care for that game. What? How we don't care about you. What about uh, Panzer Dragoon? Oh, April yes. 30th, 1998. One of the best games on the Saturn. Yeah. How about Gran Turismo? May 12th, 1998. Yep. I liked it. Uh, here's a game I played the shit out of. Banjo-Kazooie. July 29th. Again, I actually didn't get into the Banjo series. Really? You guys never played Banjo Kazooie? I played it. Kyle, Boomy? I played it, but I mean, it wasn't my favorite. Yeah, like, I didn't get into Banjo Kazooie or Banjo Tootie. I like Sly I, Cooper more than I like Banjo Kazooie. I like Conquer better than I like Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, that's true, too. Conquer was good. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, we got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, the original. Yeah, uh, August 21st. Dude, I remember I, the tactical maps. Shit. The yeah. tactical maps, and then you could set your team to like <laughs> reach and clear and do all these things. Oh, so what, what was you? What was it you said, Booby? Is like <laughs> my game still installing from 1998? <laughs> yeah, like all 98 CDs of it. 14 uh, damn CDs later. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. Is I didn't play that game when it released, but I did play it on the Dreamcast online, and my God, it was amazing. Well, let's see. Uh, this one's going to hit close to blue. Mega Man Legends. Trash. I love that game, and it's so rare and valuable. Session, I don't have it. Trash. Um, let's see. We've got Parasite Eve, September 9th, 1998. That was pretty good. That was I, pretty good. I don't think I ever played Parasite Eve. I don't it remember was playing a game about it. Where dude. Enix Resident Evil game is what it was, to be honest. Uh, I think I still have my copy of it. But the second one wasn't. Spyro the Dragon, September 9th, 1998. You mean, you mean, wait, wait, they had Skylanders back then? No, fuck Spyro you. is getting remade. That shit will be on the PS4. No, that's Skylanders. I you can think? see that. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, oh, I could see a Spyro game coming back. Yeah, they got well, Crash is coming. Figures. Crash came back, so. Yeah, yeah. we, we yeah. Crash doing so well, they're going to be like, uh, yeah, we can't get this out fast enough. Fast enough, yeah. Let's see, Let's Pokemon just the Red and Blue came oh. out. In September 28th, of course. Yes, my heart just broke. Uh, Fallout 2, September 30th, 1998. I like that. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. I remember playing the shit out of this game. Played the fuck out of that game. Oh, oh, yeah. I still have uh, the original. The the footprints, like in the first level, what are those? What? Like, yeah. Dude, that was not mind-blowing. You know what's bad is uh, uh, someone, uh, you two are familiar with Boomy isn't, uh, Godfrey, I used to he used to watch me play the game because I could run up behind the soldiers and like sleeper break their neck without alerting them, and he would try it and run up and start beating the fuck out of everyone and set the alarm every time. Just oh, annoyed God. the fuck out of him every time. How long did it take you guys to either one find Meryl's codec number or two beat the psychic boss by controlling the port in the second? Oh my, uh, player the psychic boss. Somebody fucking ruined that for me, though. Like, somebody ruined that fight for me. It was like, 
don't forget to when you get to Psycho Man and plug it into the Sega Control. I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> no, no. I, 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 I let you guys in on something. My uh, brother, near my dad works at Nintendo. No, my brother <laughs> in the near the plane. Uh, when I first played Metal Gear Solid, it was at his house. I've got it for him as like an engagement present. And I, I was trying to figure out the Meryl code Wait, thing. You got him a self gift? No, I like I. I saw Meryl's codec on the back of the box, so I figured that out. But I fought and beat Psycho Mantis the whole time while in Player One. It took forever <laughs> and a bunch of tries, but I did it. I'm still like still stuck no, on the you fact did. that you. Where's your, where's your trophy for it? <laughs> um, I'm sure. I'm still stuck on the fact that you got him a self gift. You bought him a gift, and then you took it and played it. No, I said his <laughs> wife got him the engagement gift. You asshole. <laughs> Don't worry, bud. I'll I'll beat this game for you. you don't know what the fuck Clear you're the doing. fat out of your ears. Oh, you don't, you don't want this game. This game's trash, man. Let's <laughs> you know what? I'm a real friend. I'm gonna help you out. All right. Trust me, fam. <laughs> <coughs> Boomy, I'm, just real, real quick, real quick, Boomy. Do you remember um, back like when we when we first were like in GameStop those first like that first year? Do you remember when we had the the interactives in like the the plexiglass panels at the front of the cash wraps? Oh yeah. Do you remember the guy that used to come in only on the weekends, and he used to bring his PS2 memory card in and his copy of God of War, and he wanted us to like help him through certain levels. <laughs> I don't remember that in the least bit because I would have laughed right in his face. <laughs> Dude, and this isn't like a kid or a, or a teenager. This is like a guy in like his 50s that's bringing his <laughs> PS2 memory card in. And he's like, hey, guys, I'm back. Like, and he'll be at that TV for at least two or three hours working through God of War. And then when he finally beat the game, because he beat the game inside the store, he'd go to the shelf, buy number two, and then start it. Was Yo, this before you, I worked there? Yeah, this is this is this is long before. And help me with this boss, dude. Dude, <laughs> he gets stuck on puzzles and asks me and like and try to hand me the controller, and I'm like, Nah, bro. I was like, I'll, I'll I'll give you hints, but the main fun of this game is trying to figure out the puzzles for yourself. God, oh my God! All right, so moving down the list, Grim Fandango. Any guys play that game? I played it. I didn't play it. That, that came out uh, October 30th, 1998. Wasn't it remade on the uh, it was remade. PS4? Yeah. I do. I also have it. It was. It's. I love it. It's a fun little adventure game. It's a dead genre, but damn it, I love adventure games when they're hot. Yep. Um, let's see. Grim. I don't know. That's already said that. Uh, do, 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 Crash Bandicoot Warped came out November 4th, 1998. Uh, a little PC game known as Half Love, November nineteenth, nineteen ninety eight. Still a classic. Still a classic. Love you, Gordon. Is it the original Half Life or half, uh, No, it was Half Life. Yeah, Half Life. It was Half Life. Uh, then we have The Legend of Zelda: Orcarina of Time, November twenty yeah. third, nineteen ninety eight. That That's game a- and literally ate up like most of two, like nineteen ninety nine for me because I just played it over and over. And- Oh my god, that game, the Water that's Temple, a, is a dick rip. Yeah, the Water Temple was a Hall of Fame lineup of games though, for that year. Though, like, there oh, we're still not done. done. There's a, there's a couple more games left. Uh, we have Thief, the Dark Project. The yeah. original Thief was really good. Yeah. Uh, we also have Star Wars Rogue Squadron. I love that. that I have the remastered on Steam. And Baldur's Gate, December twenty first, nineteen ninety eight. I tried playing those recently, uh, there, Baldur's Gate 2. I don't there like can't those be an, much, but There can't good. be another year where that many games came out like that, though. There was no, a, like, that is a killer I'm year. trying to think of it what year. Killer. There was one year that it actually came pretty close, and, and I want to say it was in... <sighs> I won't say it was 2002 to, or... No, I think it was. I think it was later than was, that because we got. Yeah, it was, um, like it was mid 2000s. There was, there was year. one year that we got. We got Halo, Modern Warfare Two, Bioshock, Mass Effect. Um, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Super Mario, yeah. Uh, Galaxy. I think it was. Uh, yeah, it was 2008. Yeah, um, we had 2008. We got 
Uh, we got World at War, Call of Duty, Fallout 3, Grand Theft Auto 4, Left 4 Dead 4, Lego Batman, Far Cry 2, Dead Space, Devil May Cry, Grid, Tomb Raider Underworld, Burnout Paradise, Fable 2, FIFA, Soul Calibur 4, Man and Conquer, Metal Gear 4, Spore, Gears of War 2, Battlefield Bad Company, Guitar Hero World Tour, Mirror's Edge, Rock Band 2, God of War, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, Lego Indiana Jones, Civ Myers Revolution, Warhammer Online, Mario Kart, or the Wii, World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King, Saints Row 2, Command and Conquerors, Kane's Wrath, Crisis, Warhead, Solar Empire, Brothers in Arm, Little Big Planet. Fuck, there's a lot of that. Well, Chronicle. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I'll Rainbow still take 98. Yeah, yeah there, there's not that many. No, you sure it's 98? Yeah, not, uh, 98. No, there was a like a year or two afterwards. That there happened. was 98, there was 2008, and... 2008? Are you sure that's the year you want? Mass Effect 2. I mean... No, it was Mass... It was, Mass, it was either Mass Effect 2 or Mass Effect 1. I don't think it was Mass Effect Mass 2. Mass Effect, I think it was Mass Effect 1, 1 came out in 2007. What was the year that Bioshock came out? That's 2007. Okay, yeah. so it might be 2007, I'm thinking. So, of. 2007 has Portal, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare... Yep, Bioshock, Crisis, yep, Guitar there you Hero go. 3, Dirt, uh, Team Fortress 2, Assassin's Creed, Halo 3, Mass Effect, Unreal Tournament 3. Fuck me, I hit the wrong button. Uh, <laughs> that was a good game. That's a great game. <laughs> that was a great game. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, Mass Effect, Command and Conquer 3, Witcher, Need for Seed, Pro Street, FIFA, Crackdown, Uncharted, Clash of the Titans, Cars, Made Her in Trouble. Medal of Honor, Airborne, uh, Elder Scrolls, DLC, Sega Rally, Skate, Peggle, Stronghold, World of Conflict, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, Kanan Lynch, Tomb Raider Anniversary, Enemy Territory, Quake, The B-Movie, Clive, Jer- Clive Baker's Jericho, Supreme not Commander. Really a lot of greatness. I am not Overlord, God of War 2, Company of Heroes, Beowulf, The Game, Avatar, Super this- Mario Galaxy, Puzzle Quest. Yeah. I think this is sprinkled in between the turds. There is a lot of good games. There. Yeah, think yeah if you, 98 if you just had a solid. Yeah, I think now 98 still takes the gold medal. Yeah, well, you, 98 still takes it. But I'd, I'd say every 10, 10 years or near about there, um, like everything lines up. Then that means we're, we got to be due this year games. then, right? Unless you count factor? last year. Yeah. I said, unless, well, but Blue stops talking for a minute. It, it, it seems like it would be almost time to do again for this for this year if we're going to do it like every 10 years or so. I mean, 98, 2007, 2008, and then, what, 2018. I mean, look at what we got already and then what's coming out this fall that we probably don't even know about yet. Yeah. What have we got already? Um... Monster Hunter. We got Monster Hunter, God of War. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think what else really came out that uh, was Far Cry. Far Cry is next. Well, Far Cry is next week. Um, I I almost want to throw PUBG Shadow in of the there Colossus remake. Late December. Uh, I think 2004 early. had a better year. Which one? 2004. 2004. Mm-hmm. A better year than what? Uh, in 2008 yeah no then 2000 no nothing can be 98 all right like let's just get that out the way but 2004 had world of warcraft doom 3 san andreas half-life 2 uh, fable halo 2 far cry tony hawk uh prince of persia counter-strike source um e for speed 2 uh, splinter cell um, I'm just picking the good. God, ones. I was on I was on Splinter Cell for a hot minute too. Yeah, um, I think I think we're on the verge of getting a new one this year too. Oh yeah. my God, that wouldn't that not be the greatest since sliced bread, dude? Uh, Amazon accidentally put a listing up for Splinter Cell they 2018. Not fuck up Spies versus Mercs, so. though. Yeah, dude, that was a fun game type. What, 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 were you, what were you? Were you better spy or better Merc? Everybody liked being the spies, though. Like the yeah, spies were the shit. Well, yeah, because breaking someone's neck like Spider Man is like everybody's dream. 
Yeah, like dropping on motherfuckers and knocking them out and shit. Like, that was awesome. Nobody wanted to be the Mercs. <laughs> no, when you got the Mercs, you're like, oh, God. I'm looking you're forward. Like, all right. All I'm right. looking forward to that reveal, though, because ever since that Amazon listing went up accidentally and then got taken right back down, it's like. I can, I can it, tell you what it won't be. It won't be Xbox exclusive. <laughs> no, it it, <laughs> it it won't be, but, you know, just another Splinter Cell game. It, I've been calling for one for a little while now, and, and if we finally get one this year, I'll be so happy. What would you rather have? Would you rather have a new Splinter Cell or a new Gears of War? Gears. Oh, no. Splinter Cell. I'd say Splinter Cell at this point. Gears I mean, of War is kind of Well, I mean, around. yeah, I mean, I, I guess, well, if... I don't know. Like I'm so torn. Like <laughs> Army of story, two, like story wise, I really, really want another Gears because I want to see. I want to find out what happens next. But I really I don't think I've ever put in more hours in a in a franchise than Gears of War, and I don't need to play another one. But I but Splinter Cell. I haven't seen. What was the last Splinter Cell that came out? It was. Was it Conviction? Six, Six seven years Black, ago? No, it was black. It was was it Blacklist or something? It was Blacklist. Black- it was yeah. on the Xbox 360. That was like what six or seven years ago? Yeah, because yeah, I didn't play it. Like I was already burnt out. Was it came with that? So it came conviction. with that huge collector's edition with the remote control bomber in it. The remote uh, yeah. control bomber? That's Pandora tomorrow. No, yeah. the plane. No, that's not. Blacklist. Yeah. That's- yeah, yeah I, you know what? I just remember, like, even though you guys were hyped about it, I thought it looked cool. I didn't buy it because I was so, I had played so much Conviction, I was kind of burnt out of. Screw that, man! I I love the Splinter Cell series, and I really, really want one right now. I want Borderlands Three. Is that what I want? And Final uh, Fantasy Seven, which I'm waiting for, 2015. That game Border. is better than Doorknobs. Borderlands is coming. Shut your mouth. Yeah, Borderlands is coming, and I think we're probably going to see something of that about that at E3, I this bet. Year, yeah. All right. Well, I think this is a good time, Eddie, to go ahead and wrap up for the day. Uh, do we have anything coming out? Thank you. Uh, well, me and Boomy are going to be doing um, two review shows here. We got uh, Sea yeah. of Thieves. Sea of Thieves, yeah. And then we're going to do... Um, God, that game is blurred. And then we're going to do... A Way oh. Out, which is that co-op EA game that they showed at last year's E3. Are you going to be the, I think Boomy wants to be the shitty brother? Yeah, I want to be the fuck up. <laughs> you know, I, I was in so many of the betas and alphas for Sea of Thieves, I get a bunch of founder shit. We'll send yeah, them to me. Hey, wait, 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 guys, guys, hold on, hold on. Do you hear that? Yep, no one, one cares. No one cares. Neither do I. Then why bring it up if you don't care? <laughs> Our viewers fucking turned this shit off 30 minutes ago when we started talking about the fucking Neo Geo the bullshit. <laughs> I'm still waiting for a game that Neo Geo released, by the way. Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect uh, spot to put in the guys. sound effect. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Fuck me. Later. Did he just say fuck me? <laughs> yeah, I think he said suck me. <laughs> oh. <laughs>